Babies can start crying tears as early as two to three weeks of age, um, but it, tears don't always accompany crying because babies cry for a lot of different reasons because they're hungry, tired, um, not feeling well, they just wanna be held, they need their diaper changed, or they are just overstimulated, and not all causes of crying are worthy of tears. It's important to look for the presence of tears though. If you haven't seen tears from your baby by the two month appointment with your pedi pediatrician, bring this up. Um, sometimes it's due to a clogged tear duct where the baby is actually making tears, but they're not able to spill out because of plumbing problems. The, the duct that releases them is clogged. And sometimes this is also accompanied by a gooey discharge. So your doctor will ask you more questions about it, perform an exam, and then decide if further investigation or treatment is necessary. If it is a clogged tear duct, often they just wait and see if it resolves on its own or teach you little massages that you can do to unclog the duct. And then if it persists until they're older, then sometimes they have to do something about it. Now, another reason it's important to watch for tears is that um, lack of tears can be a sign of dehydration if your baby hasn't been eating and drinking well, they've been vomiting, or they're having diarrhea. So if you suspect that your baby's dehydrated, talk with your pediatrician as soon as possible. If you have more questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.